Hello everyone, welcome to another lesson. This time I'm just going to be playing games and I'm going to try to explain every move as I go. Ideally, this component it will be me playing games and you see, but also you playing your games in the way we could look at the things that you're doing wrong and we could improve on them. But due to the nature of this course, we cannot do it, of course. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to use this opportunity also to show you different websites that I use to play chess, but also to teach. So I'm going to try to play one game on each one of these three websites and I'm going to try to use the openings that we have learned so far. So the first one is going to be this one, Chess24. So the website is chess24.com. Then I'm going to go to chess.com. And the last one is going to be um, leechess.org. So any of these websites, you can actually uh, create a free account and start playing chess right now. I'm going to go here to where it says human I'm going to choose 3-2. I'm going to choose this time control because that way I have time in this class to play at least one game in each website. 3-2, you should know by now, it means I start the game with 3 minutes and they give me 2 extra seconds every time I make a move. Rating, I'm going to leave it as it is, so as difficult as, as it could be, and lower them my rating up to 250. So I'm going to hit play and they're searching for an opponent. Typically this is quick, but it looks like we don't have many people online right now. Okay, so maybe stop searching and we go a little bit back here. Let's make it 300. <gasps> we found someone, let's see. And yep, with the white pieces and we're playing, whoop, so I'm 2409, oh, let me move. So I'm 2409, my opponent is Pharaoh 2353. So. Okay, same thing. I'm going to control the center with two pawns, then my knight. And I could take, huh, I'm not going to take now. I'm going to put up my knight, then my bishop. Let's bring it to c4. And I think I'm ready to castle. All right, so this opening was pretty quick. Nothing out of the ordinary, just controlling the center, developing the minor pieces, and finally castling. Okay, bishop. I think I'm going to bring it all the way to g5. Okay, mm, I'm gonna go back. I'm not going to take because then this knight who is in the way of the bishop is going to be improved. So I have to make it difficult for him to improve his pieces, not easier. Mm, okay, rook is coming to the central file. Okay, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Now, do I have this move? You see, I see this knight here is awkward, he's hanging. My queen is on the same diagonal. If I take, can I take his knight after? Ooh, no, 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 wait. Take, if he takes with knight and I take the, his knight, he's gonna take my bishop. So knight takes, if knight takes, if I take with the pawn instead, then he takes with the queen, still defending. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. All right, then let me just stay on this diagonal. Let me move the bishop away that way when he takes, he's not attacking me, but yeah. Now it's too late. Well, then let me take. And now I need that knight gone. And I need it gone right now. Yep. So he's just too good close to my castle. So I need to make, make him go away. Or he could trade. Yeah, that's fine. Now I improve my queen. Where are you going, man? So he's going to try to go here and here. Okay, that's fine. Now, you know what, I'm going to prevent this pin, and I also open up an escape for my for my king. Oh, it looks like he just wanted my bishop. Okay, so I got double tap pawns, but you learn in our class that that offers me, say, my open files, which he took care of that too. Come on, this guy, well, let's bring it then to this open file. Now, bishop is six. Seems like a logical move. But he's not interested. Mm -mm, not, not good. If I go queen e3, he takes on c2. Well, maybe I just need to double out my rooks. So I'm going to put my two rooks on the open file. There we go. All right, fair enough. Mm -mm. Okay, what are you gonna do now if I go here? So 
this power that I have, this battery, is going to allow me to put a lot of pressure down that file. I'm going to... Oh, 40 seconds. So I need to hurry up. 40 seconds, and he got 2 minutes. Okay, fair enough. Mm. So my knight is going to try to come in. Maybe through g6, maybe through f5. I don't like f5 because because he could take me. But if the bishop is gone, then I could get to the seventh rank. So why not? Mm -hmm. Okay, so can I do that? Can I do that? So all of my pieces now on the open file. My major pieces. Need to find a good square for my knight. Well, my queen is gonna come here. Maybe it was not the knight. Maybe it was the queen that was in the wrong place. Okay, so check. Ooh, we got a free bishop. No? Uh, check. Oh, it's gonna have to get on this diagonal. And that's going to be a discovery check, a very nasty discovery check. All right, so yeah, that's a nasty discovery check. Okay, what do we say? No, I'm just going to take check. Check. Oh, I think I made a mistake. I okay, guess I wasn't able to comment on those moves because this was really fast. I think I got him now. He cannot stop this check. He cannot stop that checkmate. Sorry for the silence, but I had to concentrate. Yeah, only move. Now check. Come on, he's gonna make me play this. Oh. Quickly, notice I'm just taking. I'm just taking his pawns. Because if I run out of time. And he doesn't have any pawns, then it's gonna be a draw. I ran out of time. Yeah, you, I lost. All right, guys. So it doesn't matter. Um, I ran out of time. It was not enough to be pre-moving, but as you can see, I was winning by a lot. You had three pawns left. All I had to do was get my queen, remove those pawns, and then I could do the queen checkmate or the two rook checkmate. So, anyways, um, sorry I couldn't comment much on on this game. But as you can see, it got, it got really interesting all of a sudden, and I, I didn't have much time. So anyways, if you have comments afterwards, you can always uh, leave me a comment, and I'll be more than happy to, to reply. Let's try chess.com. I'm going to hit 3-2. Play. This one should be faster, but let's see. Maybe we're not lucky here. Oh, there we go. So we have the white pieces. I'm going to do e4, and I'm going to try to stay consistent with what we have learned so far. Okay, d5, attacking my pawn. I could take, but I like to play this variation where I just protect the pawn. All right, so now he's attacking twice. I'm going to bring another defender. And by the way, this is called the French defense, this setup that he's, that he's using. So I'm going to take now. Then, hmm, I think I'm going to take this one as well. So now I'm going to leave him with an isolated pawn. So we, we learned this already in this course. And... That's going to be a weakness that he's going to have, especially towards the end, the end game. Okay, so let's get out of the center. Okay, so now he's pinning me. Let's put the question mark. It's going away. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, so let me try to open up this bishop. He moved away, and I think it's time for me to deploy this bishop. I'm going to put him on g5. Okay, guys, so we're done with the opening. Our minor pieces are developed. We castled. Now we enter into the middle game. So rooks go to the open files. And I want to see if I could connect the rooks. I want to improve my queen quickly. So let's see. All right, so what is he trying to do? He moved the bishop to this diagonal. 
Okay, I can now move my queen because he takes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. You know, I'm not. I think it's going to be fine. Mm, no, I'm not going to open up my king. So think, think, think. What should we do? You know, ideally I'll be able to move my queen, but I can't. This pin is really annoying, but g4 is a little bit a little bit tricky here. So maybe we don't do it yet. Let me just go c3. So I'm doing c3 to fix this pawn. I don't want him to be able to push, but also I'm trying to put the bishop on c2, then queen d3, creating a battery, and at the same time I defend the knight. Of course I have to be careful. You see, he's doing the same thing. All right, so if he takes, I take, he's going to come to h2. Mm, well, that's not going to be checkmate anyways, but I have to be careful, my friend. I must be careful. Mm. Okay, so i got to come back here, you see? If he takes, I have to replace that knight with another knight. I wouldn't be surprised if... Well, um, is it time to... Yeah, so now it's time to connect the rooks. If he takes, I take with the other rook. I have my battery. It's not as powerful as his, but it is a battery. And the only defender is the knight. So yeah, he moved it. Well, let's go back. Now I'm trying to go to g3 and break this battery that he has. Yeah, he took. Now, what is he going to do? 95 maybe? Trying to remove the knight? Notice, guys, that uh, we're trading pieces already. The more pieces we trade, the less pieces he has to defend that pawn later on. I'm using his time to think. So most likely he's going to bring the other rook into the game. Um, 95 is another kind of move. Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. So I think we can take it's gonna take with the rook now this would be a nice pin but he could get out of it with a check so oh, maybe it could do hmm. so do I do bishop g3 or do I take first if I take first he takes then I do the skewer but he can always go back and defend it take take oh. turn 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 So I knew he was going to take, I took back, now I'm hitting the queen, he needs to go back. Hmm, maybe I could... Oh, you know what? Yeah, okay, so let's trade it. Now this is going to be an endgame where we have bishop versus knight, and there's an isolated pawn, so this is about to get interesting. Okay, time to activate the queen. I'm controlling e8, so this rook can never get active on the open file. And I'm controlling also the escape, the escape square for the king. So there, there are chances of checkmate on the back rank. All right, I like my position, but anything could happen. Now he's putting pressure on my pawns. No big deal. Should I go to a seventh rank? He takes. Nah, there's no need to risk it. There's no need to risk it. All right, you know what? I'm happy to trade queens. If, again, if I get to the end game, it's convenient for me. Well, he look, it looks like he doesn't care. Okay, time to activate the kings. All right, so see, he wants to get rid of his isolated pawn. I have to make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay, let's bring the kings over. Yeah, I knew that knight was coming over, so... Okay, f3, yeah, let's get him out of here. I just don't want that knight in such a good position. Oh, okay, he's coming back. Huh. Okay, so putting pressure on d5. He's gonna go to c4. No, he's not gonna go to c4. Okay, putting pressure on the weak, you see, the weakness is, has to be defended by pieces, not by pawns. So that should be enough to give him a hard time. No, c4, c4. Okay, c4, this is pin, oh no, the knight is there. Oh, wait, c4, he takes, take. 
no, no. All right, no. What do we do, my friend? What do we do? All right, let's bring the king up. Now, the king is coming up because this is an endgame, so it only makes sense. Okay, check. Mm, wait, I think I can take here. See, the pawn fell. The moment I kicked the king, uh, the king out, the pawn fell. The pawn fell. Um, now, let's see. He cannot put pressure on my pin piece, not with a pawn at least. So this, this is looking good for me. I'm winning by a pawn. This check is going to be annoying. Well, let me protect him. So I don't have to be concerned about it. Yeah. So I'm going to get away from the pin. If the knight moved, I take him. I'm happy to go into this. Well, not happy, but... Uh, that knight, can he go anywhere? Well, uh, I don't want to take... You know what? Let's make it simpler. I only have a few seconds. This is going to be a long rook endgame. Uh, I should have kept my bishop. It was better than, than the knight. It was centralized, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, my rook is down into his territory. Okay. Mm. Okay, going after this pawn. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm going to be able to get that pawn. Now, I have a pass pawn also, you see, We've, we talked about um, the pawn structures in a few lessons, now you're seeing it in action. Isolated pawns, pass pawns, okay, my pass pawn is meant to be pushed. Now, okay, so he's going. But you have taken with a check. Oh, that was not a check. Well, I'm going to take now with a check. No. Oh, I think I got him. I think I got him. Okay. Now he's helping me. Those random checks are just helping me get closer to my pawn and help. All right. So let me take here with a check just to make sure I got this. And now, you see, there's this rook is not going to attack my pawn anymore. Ooh, ooh, that was not cool. And he comes with a check. Ah, I didn't calculate that. Okay. Oh, I went to the wrong side and everything. Yeah, this is going to be a draw. You see, I, I had it, and I didn't calculate. Well, this would be a draw, guys, but just to bother him a little. Maybe he makes a silly mistake. Whoop, he blundered, skewer. <laughs> All right, now, I, I feel really bad. I'm not proud of what I did, but he should have, he should have done something better. Yeah, now he's going to resign. All right, guys, uh, again, not proud of how we won that game, but all right, so now I'm going to go back to Liches. I'm going to go to play. Okay, so I guess create game. Then standard. And I thought they have, oh, it's right here. I'll just go to 3 2 Blitz. It's searching. All right, so we have the black pieces this time. And all right, so I'm going to do. Let me do what we we have learned so far. So e5. Then I'm going to play the Petrov defense or the Russian defense. And let's see if he takes on e5, which is the main line. Yeah. Now d6, remember we cannot take right away. We just go d6 and then we collect. Now this line is not the main line, but we have to take. Then develop your pieces. So all of my minor pieces are de uh, developed. Now I think I'm going to... Well, I should castle, but where? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, let me go on IC5. So this is already um, the middle game, so I need to hurry to castle my king. 
let's see now let me go queen d7 and i think i'm gonna castle to the same side he castled i have this move knight e4 might be a little bit interesting to improve my knight but we're gonna get there in due time i'm also looking at my bishop which is aiming at the castle so i could do something like queen a4 at some point but those are just ideas for now i think i'm going to worry about putting my king in safety all right so he doesn't like my bishop and that's all right well, let me just castle. He took. Uh, no, I'm not gonna take like that. I'm gonna take with the queen. Okay, ninety four looks very good now, but. <laughs> well, let me improve this bishop first. Now I have to be careful with this diagonal because he could pin me there, but it's not going to happen right now. Uh, time to bring my other rook. He's doing the same thing now. I don't like this, so we definitely have to get out of the way. I think we're going to do it by. All right, let's get closer to his territory. And in case you were wondering, I didn't like my queen on this file because he could just do a discovered attack. So he could take the knight, for instance, and then his rook is discovered to attack my queen. So those ideas we have to be able to anticipate and prevent him from doing from doing that to us. I noticed that even though we started with uh, three minutes, we've had enough time to play our game. We're not rushing. We're actually making sure that we play good moves. Okay, so that was expected. And maybe we could create something here. So, queen b5. Now, I'm putting pressure here. Yeah, he was going to take. Hmm, wait, 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 wait. 94 is the move. So, you see, now I could go to a4, put pressure on c3 and, and, and threaten checkmate, but he could easily defend. So knight e4 is forcing him to move the queen, and then I could take on c3. Okay, so now we're talking. What's he gonna do? He needs to be careful. Queen d5 is going to be fork. So queen d3, queen d4. Queen e2 is also a fork. And bishop c3 seems very interesting too. So, ooh, wait, wait, wait. Knight c3 check. He moves, then I have the discovery, oh, he fell for it. And then we get the queen. So don't be surprised if he gives up. Now we throw in checkmate with the bishop. So all of my pieces working together. Yeah, so he gave up. And this is going to be everything for today. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And of course, I'm going to get back to you. I know I didn't explain many of the, of the moves. I was playing fast. So now it's time for you to let me know if there's something I missed and you'd like me to expand on it. So with that said, I will see you guys on the next lesson.